to arrive from Africa to Europe. I am begging all men, don't bring your wife from Africa. Hello, hello, what's up, y'all? Hey, this is your boy, I'm Son the Red. Hey, what's going on, guys? What I plan how about this video is shared in the best of health, in the best of mind, and of course, in the best of uh, spirit. Man, so yesterday afternoon, I came across this video uh, on TikTok, a video of an uh, African guy who was a uh, uh, African guy who was kind of uh, trying to advise other African men to never bring their uh, women to Europe. You understand he, he even kind of uh, got on his knees begging other african men to listen to him and to never bring their women to europe you understand if you have a wife in africa you should never try to bring her to europe if you are in europe here you want to get married he said it's better for you to get married here in europe than to go to africa and bring a woman here as your wife or to bring your women over in Europe here and marry her. So the person who, uh, who, was, in, who was speaking with the guy, the person who was speaking the, with the guy, uh, he asked the guy why so. The guy said, replied saying, because if you bring African women here to Europe, one of the things they will do to you is to try to destroy you. To try to destroy you. Another thing they will do to you is try to put you in jail. The guy got on his knees. This guy got on his knees, begging other African men, advising other African men to never try to go to Africa to marry women and bring her to Europe. And if they have a wife in Africa, they should never go to Africa to try to bring their wife here in Europe. They should keep the wife there in Africa. If ever they want to keep you know, being together with that women in peace and harmony, they should never try to bring them to Europe. Because if you bring them to their, Europe, they will become demons. You understand? They will become demons. You arrive from Africa to Europe. I am begging all men, don't bring your wife from Africa to Europe. Don't bring your wife from Africa to Europe. No, no, why? Why did you say that? If you know that you are the kind of man, mm. you are a proud man, uh, uh, you uh, have a chieftaincy, uh, yes. you are a chief, mm. you are a strong man, mm. you understand, people respect you, don't bring your wife from Africa to Europe, because if you bring them here, they will bring you down. They will bring you down. <laughs> don't bring that woman here, because she will lay you down she will bring you down uh -huh. yeah she will disrespect you uh -huh. there will be no respect and if any day you talk to her anyhow or you have an issue with her she will go and report you to police station uh -huh. and the next thing is to divorce you uh -huh. that is the only thing they can do don't bring your wife to europe from africa to europe mm. i am telling you mm. a lot i know about mm. we have many of them yeah. Yeah. When I saw this video, I kind of smiled because what this guy is saying, I saw it a lot among African women here in Europe. I saw it a lot, countless times. I have been in many different European countries and everywhere that I go in the African community. This behavior of African women is kind of common. You understand? It is kind of common. And the only community or, or I mean the only immigrant community I have seen in Europe in which this mentality exists is us African migrants here in Europe if you go to the Asian immigrants the Asian migrants the Asian women they behave here just like they behave back in their countries they behave here just like they behave back in their countries, when they when it come to the when it come to their attitude towards their men, they behave just the way they behave back in their countries. When I go to the Arab community here in Europe, you will see that they, they the women of the Arab communities they behave just the way they behave 
back in their countries. You understand? Because these people understand that they have a culture. They come from a place. They are not Europeans. They are not Westerners. You understand? They have a home. They have a country. They have a culture there in that their country. You understand? They have a culture that's practiced by their mothers. They have a culture that's practiced by their fathers. And they are not coming to Europe to trade that culture for Western culture. For Western culture is only for Western people. You can come to Europe, you can integrate, you understand, you can respect their rules and regulations. You understand? But you can still remain your own selves. You don't allow yourself to be to be turned into something else by this illusion of democracy or equality in Europe between men and women. You understand? The women of other communities, other immigrant communities understand this. You understand? But when it comes to the, to the African women here in Europe, when it comes to African women here in Europe, you ask yourself, what kind, of, what kind of women are you dealing with? What kind of women are you dealing with? This... African women, once they, once they touch the soil of Europe, one of the first things that they try to be is not to educate themselves, to become a doctor, to become a lawyers, to become a... To, to do with their time something that they can't even go back to their country and practice. No. These women settle, or they settle into trying to be European women, or into trying to be European. This is one of their first objectives once they reach the soil of Europe, is to look at the white woman and to be imitating the behaviors, the characteristics, or the attitudes of the white women. Why do you are not white women? You are not European. You are immigrant here in Europe. You want to behave like the white women? The white woman is in, is in his home country. This culture is part of his culture. It's part of, it is part of who, who they are. You come from the other end of the world. You are African. You have a culture there. A culture that is practiced by your mother, your, your, your father. You come to Europe. You abandon that uh, mentality. You want to become a white woman, which you can never become. And the European systems are never going to treat you the way they treat a white woman. It will never happen. It will never happen. So you are fooling yourselves. And it's for this very reason most of the African women in Europe here, they will die single. Because any men that come into their life, they are confused in mentality. They will use it to kick that man out of their life. They will scare that man away. Because they are trying to be a white woman. They have heard that white women, white men quarrels. They like to quarrel with their African husbands. They heard that one of the white women cleaned the kitchen today. Tomorrow, her how, 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 how white husband cleaned the kitchen. The African woman who just came yesterday want to also behave in a very similar way. The man, ah, you have to do this. Ah, you have to do this. She will be yelling at her husband, screaming at her husband because she's in Europe. She believes she can just grab the phone and even lie about a man and the police will come and catch that man or kick that man out of the house. You understand? How wicked. How confused. How lost. I've seen many African women behave this way. And it's for this reason, these days, even if I see African women get into trouble in the town, I will never even intervene. I will never even try to defend her. I will not try to defend her. I will not try to defend her. Because of that, uh, That lost mentality she has developed here in Europe, or she has inculcated here in Europe. You want to be a European woman while you are African. And another thing that I want these African women to put in the head is that these European systems, one of their main tactics, and this tactic, they practice it not only uh, against foreign nationals, but also against their own nationals. You understand? It is a tactic of opposing the men and the women to each other. 
to create some kind of rivalry between the men and the women. You understand? So that the men and the women will be always fighting among themselves over position, over titles. You understand? Over this and over that. Then the system will come and kind of give the woman the, some kind of advantages. You understand? And the woman will spend her whole life, I mean, if she's stupid, because the intelligent women know her position already in the house. You understand? Whether it's a European, Asian, Arab, or African, women are all women. They're all equal. You understand? So many women, they know their positions. Even European women, the European women, you African women are trying to be or trying to imitate. They know they are, some of them knows their position, despite the brainwashing of the European systems that they have gone through through centuries. Some of them still are submitted to their men. They understand that uh, they are women. They are nurturers. They understand that they need the men. You understand? They need the men. You understand? As much as the men needs them. You understand? They don't act in this stupid entitlement way. You understand? Entitlement. Feeling like you are on top of the world. Who the hell are you to be on top of the world? What are you? What are you to be on top of the world? For you to be trying to kind of, uh, I don't know, control or rule over a man. Who are you? You are a lost human being. You understand? This is not how your father and your mother are behaving in Africa. It's not how they behave. You understand? Many European women, I'm telling you, many European women, there are European women. In the house, they know there are places of women. You understand? They allow their men to be a man. Although they know that they can, they have advantages in the fake systems. You understand? They can call police, they have a lie, the police can but No. They won't look for trouble with the men because they believe even if whatever they tell the police, it will work. You understand? They don't. They know their place in the house. They know that I belong to this place as a woman. I'm a nurturer. You understand? If I can't help my man build himself, I don't supposed to be competing or being a rival or enemy to him in the house. You understand? They understand this. So me, man, like I was saying, I uh, gave this man 100%. Do never go to Africa, marry a woman, bring her over to Europe. She will leave you. There is 99% of chance she will leave you. Once she come here, you, you will no longer look impressive in her eyes. You understand? She will want to uh, one bogus man. You understand? You see? Do never go to Africa, marry a woman, bring her here. Never. Okay, it's possible. There is still good women, cultural women, you understand. Women with intelligence and with, uh, with culture. You understand, who are culturally well-grounded. No matter where you put them, they remain. They can learn to do things, you understand. But when it comes to their husband, their household, you understand. They know how to behave there. No matter how tough they be outside. No matter what... No matter how tough they think they are outside, once they come in the house, once their husband's around, they become a nurturers, which is the nature of every normal woman. Not like lying, making up lies, arguing, quarreling, because you think you have some kind of fake advantage in Europe. So man, I have come to the end of this video. So you guys, like I always tell you guys, remember always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember always, you know, drop comments and let me know what's up. Also, every subject I share with you guys, I also need your thoughts, you understand what you think. And also, of course, the comments and, uh, you know, sharing the videos helps on YouTube. You understand, it kind of helps the, the, the creator to kind of benefit or to kind of benefit in one way or another from their creation. You understand, so, to, so remember always drop comments you understand whatever you have questions to ask me you understand or regarding the matter that i'm talking about i'm talking about in a particular video just drop a comment and let me know what's up what you think you understand also remember to share the video with, you, with the videos with your friends on social media you understand someone might learn something you know something new from 
a word or phrase or you know a subject to have discussed in a particular video so that's what's up guys until next time see you again peace out i can't believe i've been kicked out of my own house by a woman a woman i brought to europe the woman i brought to europe trained her and she became a nurse and she kicked me outside my own house i'll go to court i'll go to court and i'll fight i'll fight for this case it's a woman's word here when she came she was very humble look at look at